What do oranges, table tennis, a chameleon, a perfume and a spicy meal have in common? The answer to our question lies with Matteo. Matteo's day started with a fresh orange juice. The second the orange's primary scent molecule hit Matteo's olfactory neurons, he was transported back to a memorable summer cocktail. Ah, the smell of happy times. Matteo then left for his weekly game of table tennis, where his friend made him sweat for victory. Coincidentally, the match score was precisely the number of sweat glands on Matteo's body. The bacteria produced by the sweat created his unique odor. Back home, Matteo spent some quality time with Cameron. Matteo thinks a cool fact about chameleons is that they have a poor sense of smell. He told this on a date once and never saw her again. Soon after, Matteo sprayed on green cedar by Abel. Made with 100% natural ingredients, the scent evolved on his skin throughout the day. The cedar wood was harvested in the Atlas Mountains. In fact, that shadow on the wall looks a lot like Mount Tubkal. Before hurrying out for a drink, Matteo wolfed down a dinner of leftovers. The night before, he had ordered number 38 from his local Vietnamese. The smell of garlic will permeate from his pores for another 47 hours. But I'm digressing. Our hero is in a hurry. Matteo arrived early, which leaves us a little time for the answer to our question. Humans are attracted to each other's body odor. So, while Lara is caught up in a book, her primal subconscious brain has smelt Matteo's unique scent and been triggered through a direct neural pathway from her nose. Matteo's day of eating, sweating, petting and spraying have all contributed to his irresistible scent, making Lara wildly attracted to our hero. So indeed, love stinks. <laughs> <laughs>